They're doing a special job with Santi Jimenez. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on Santi Jimenez, this fantastic striker from Feyenoord who is scoring a lot of goals and is one of the most interesting players around Europe. Also, something to clarify about Manchester United internally. What's going to happen once Sergi Bradcliffe will uh, buy 25% minority stake and something on Mikhailo Mudrik. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me start by mentioning what's going on around Santiago Jimenez, the Mexican striker who had a fantastic Champions League debut against Lazio. He scored a brace. He scored 15 goals in the last nine games with Feyenoord. So this boy is a goal machine. He really did very well last season. Then he decided to stay at Feyenoord to sign a new deal. And now he's performing again at top level with Arne Slot as a manager. So congratulations to him. Congratulations to Feyenoord. Congratulations to the manager because they're doing a special job with Santi Jimenez as top striker. What I wanted to clarify, guys, is many of you asking me today about Tottenham and Real Madrid because there was around an interview of uh, someone close to the player mentioning uh, that kind of situation. Guys, from what I can tell you after speaking, speaking to direct sources, Santiago Jimenez has no agent, has no intermediary. There is no one taking care of his future from external but only his father. The father of the player is the only person taking care of Santiago Jimenez and he didn't release any interview on the future of the player. So all the reports you saw about Tottenham, Real Madrid getting closer or negotiating, at the moment, guys, from what I'm told, the only person taking care of the future of Santi Jimenez is his father. So there are no interviews of people managing the future of Santi Jimenez and this is important to clarify. Then, we know very well that many top clubs around Europe are keeping an eye on the boy. From what I'm hearing, something around 45 million euros could be the right uh, fee to make it happen. Uh, let's see if in the January window or in the summer window, it depends on Feyenoord more than on the player. The interest of many clubs is there. Uh, I think we saw Tottenham link it because from what I'm told, uh, Tottenham scouts have been following the player already last year. You remember that Tottenham uh, considering to, were considering to appoint Arne Slot as a manager early in the summer before Ange Postecoglu, then that deal collapsed, but they were following Feyenoord. And while they were following the manager, they saw that Santi Jimenez is absolutely a very good striker. So Santi Jimenez for sure is a player interesting for Tottenham, but also for many other clubs around Europe. And this is why the seasons will be made in the next months. But at the moment, no statement from people close to the player. And the only person is the father. The only person to decide the sporting future of Manchester United is going to be Sir Jim Ratcliffe. As we know very well, guys, the situation there is about time. So in the next uh, weeks, everything will be completed. This is the expectation for Sir Jim Ratcliffe to enter into Manchester United with 25% minority stake, but with a sporting control of the club. It means he can decide on the manager, the board, the directors, and all the sporting activities. This is really important. The feeling internally at United is that there could be a big change in terms of board and in terms of operations at Manchester United with Sergei Ratcliffe entering into the club. It means a new director. It means a new sporting director. So the whole transfer process could change at Manchester United with people coming from Sergei Ratcliffe and Ineos group. So we saw the name of uh, Blanc, Linked, uh, Jean-Claude Blanc, who is a director who did a job at many clubs, including Paris Saint-Germain, Juventus in the past, he's one of the names being considered, this is true, but there are many candidates for different positions, including the director of football. We saw the name of Paul Mitchell, but there are also others. So Manchester United are exploring multiple options and there will be an important change internally once Sergi Ratcliffe will enter into the club. And then, guys, uh, what is important to clarify for me is also about Mikhailo Modric. Modric is going to uh, is going to change his story at Chelsea for sure because we saw recently he's doing very well scoring with Chelsea, scoring with the Ukrainian national team so something is changing uh, for sure uh, Mudrik is very happy in London he's now uh, settled down at Chelsea uh, also in the training sessions in the personal life this is really important for uh, 
a young player coming from a different country, like Mikhailo Mudrik, what I wanted to clarify about Mudrik is also something about the summer transfer window, because in the summer we never heard any concrete rumor, but when some clubs started to approach Chelsea over the possibility of maybe finding a way for Mudrik after a difficult six months at the club, the answer was always the same and was from the board and was from the manager. They were all together to protect the player, supporting the player and backing the player. So that was never the case for Chelsea to let Mikhailo Mudrik leave in the summer or in any other moment. Moment. They wanted Modric strongly. Their strategy to sign Modric in a complicated moment in January when the player was close to Arsenal was something really difficult to prepare for Chelsea. So they trusted Modric, they trust Modric and they believe that we are still not saying the best of this player. It will take time, of course, but they trust him. They want him and they never considered to let Mikhailo Modric leave or changing the plan around him. They believe he's going to be a star in the future. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Manchester United Revolution, Mikhailo Mudrik, Santi Jimenez, which club should go for him? Let me know here in the comments, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!